of Mad Science Films. I'm James Plunt, well. filmmaker, sexual astronaut. As ever, I'm joined by my dynamic co-host. <laughs> James Morrissey, another filmmaker, part of the Mad Science Films team, a.k.a. J. Diddy. We did discuss this last time. Maybe J. Diddy, yo. <laughs> J. Diddy, yo. I don't know. I'm not quite uh, sure on that, but we'll see. We'll see. See how it feels on week three. Let's see if it sticks. Yeah, we'll keep, going. It sticks, we'll keep yeah. going with it. Cool. <laughs> so first up, if you're in the UK and a Prime Video member, please check out our fourth feature film for free. Just search for Little Monster or click on the link in the show notes below. A zombie film, which asks the very important question which we should all be asking in this day and age. What would you do as a parent if your child was bitten by a zombie? Mm. Mm. Good question. What would you do? What would you do? Anyway, on the show today, we're campaigning for a forgotten masterpiece of genre cinema to be given the sweet, sweet, sweet Blu-ray treatment with all the bells and the whistles. Last week, a flake. <laughs> last week was peaches. <laughs> this week is cream. Jimmy, Ooh, P, Jimmy M, what have you given us this week? Oh, well, we're going to look at uh, Ice Cream Man. Oh, yeah. yeah so... Poor Gregory, after being released from the Wishing Well Sanitarium, all he wants to do is make the children happy. So Gregory reopens the old ice cream factory and all the unappreciative kids or brats are reprocessed into the flavor of the day. Yes. Yeah, that's Classic. not quite accurate, really, but okay. All right. That's IMDB. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's um, all right. Ice cream what do you think, Jimbo? I've always got time for Clint Howard. I yeah. love Clint Howard. Uh, ever since he was that ugly little kid in a Star Trek episode back in like the late uh, mid mid to late sixties, uh, yeah, he just turns up in these movies. He's an amazing character actor. He improves whatever he's in. He definitely helps to improve Ice Cream Man, man. So yeah, thank you very much. Um, I must have seen this back in the nineties in my video shop days but I must have forgotten how mental this film is. Mm. It's, it is mm. proper mental. So thank you, James. Yeah. Thank you for no, You're welcome, you. mate. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely welcome. No, I I, I, um, I think I've seen this, yeah, way back when, um, and it is a proper wacky film. Now, obviously, I think this is a very, very fun film, but it has, it has flaws. It's not perfect by any means. Yeah. It's not a fully accomplished film. Let's uh, say it's not a good film. Yeah. It's, and I think that goes to perhaps uh, the, the director being a very inexperienced director and the writer uh, not being... He is experienced. Well, in direction... So... Yeah. He is actually very experienced. He's directed over 100 films, but under a pseudonym. And those films happen to be of the adult variety. Oh. Yes. So um, I forget what his real name is, which he directed this film under, but he's better known as Paul Norman. Uh, and he's directed, at least at the last count, over 120 adult films with titles such as Sperm Bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, okay. Well, that that um, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, so Norman Abstein or Steen, yeah. uh, he goes under. That's his real name, I'm guessing. Yes, that's um, his real name. Yeah. So other than porn, um, he's not really directed any no, real this, films. This, this is his only uh, traditional director's thing. credit. Yeah. 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 So I think he does. I mean, clearly, he's not used to directing storylines and um i don't know i mean I, it's been a while since i've seen sperm bitches i mean i i'm guessing there's not much of a plot there i'm guessing the characters are very layered um so i think that is not helped the film and i think uh, that david uh, dobkin he's i think he wrote uh, king arthur didn't he or yeah. Like he's, he's yeah, really, he's, yeah. He's so he's got a weird. Yeah. Yeah. He, but he's not horror, though, is he? I wouldn't say he's a horror screenwriter per se. So I think those things didn't help the film because the 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 idea of an ice cream man murdering guy is really cool. Yeah. They got a great cast, I think. You know, yeah. they got you know, like I said, um, good old Clint Howard. Clint he's, Howard. he's got a he's he's got a face of a of a child murderer. 
he no offense, played Clint. it so so well. Okay, yeah. let's let's address that. How many kids does he murder? Yeah, um, none. Zero. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So, this is what wound me up about the IMDb thing. So, at no point, if you actually watch the film, apart yeah. from the kids kind of interfering, at no point actually does he kill a kid. Or no. it, does it even look like he kills a kid? He kidnaps that one kid. Yeah, and you see him later on, don't you, later in the, in the woods? Yeah. yeah. Um, and, you know, and, and there's the blonde kid then that he, you know, he, he kidnaps and basically, you know, uh, spoilers slightly. Yeah, uh, yeah. Becomes the next ice cream man, if you like. Um, but it's more about the adults. Um, and this is part of the film where, going back to your, your point about the cast, is it's an amazing cast. And clearly he only had them for a few days each. So he's got David Warner playing the father of one of the girls. Um, and that's such a weird little subplot, which doesn't go anywhere. The mother is yeah, yeah. thumbs, and then that's just not really handled again later. Yeah. I, I, I wanted more of that. What was that but about? This is, this, is, this, is, this is the unfortunate thing about this film, is it had everything to be an amazing film, yeah. perhaps a classic 90s horror, but I just don't think it was dealt with, written, or directed well enough. Um, like, you know, they got like, um, Jan Michael Vincent, you know, Airwolf guy, you know, yeah. who looks so dejected and so like he didn't give a shit almost. Exactly, mate. I mean, the bit where they're escaping from the asylum. Yeah. Could you clearly, be any slower I, I mean, or I uninterested? He had a big falling out and he was in assault. Now, slightly gossipy, I think this was during a phase where he was a massive alcoholic. So I suspect, you know, he was just doing jobs for, you know, paying for his next. Yeah. Orders. And I suspect that's why we were just mm. getting these very perfunctory roles. I mean, that bit where, yeah, he is literally just walking and pushing people. Yeah. He just yeah. looks annoyed to be there. Just, yeah, he looked, yeah, that, that that, he looked more annoyed. Role. Yeah. Because if you notice, like his partner, who's, who's a lesser known actor, had more speaking roles. Yeah. And he yeah. just came in with like the odd line or whatever. His so, yeah. Played he, by Lee Major's son, Lee Major's Lee Major 2. The yeah. sequel, <laughs> um, yeah, but he um, he looked so dejected, he looked so yeah. didn't want to be there, which which was so disappointing. Now, from what I understand, um, bizarrely, I think this was weeks or months after the death of his son, so I'm not sure what the uh, what happened there, but him, alcoholism, definitely. I think earlier in in the eighties, he had a massive drug problem. So yeah. yeah, this is a man who probably shouldn't have been working at this point. Sure, yeah, yeah. But obviously, well, he was we... given work because of name recognition. So yeah, and then of course the American werewolf himself, David Norton, <laughs> appearing in the movie yeah. as well. And again, another parent subplot with you know like all having an affair or whatever. Fair, and, yeah, and yeah, kind yeah, of cheating, like all yeah. of this extra story and I know you know what the the <clears throat> I'm, it just all felt very underbaked if you like. So, I just think, yeah, I just think they missed tricks. I think there was no clear vision for the film and how to intertwine those subplots and and give them their just deserves each to then bring it back into the main plot of the film. Yeah. I think, um, and I think that's that's just down to having a very not a very good director um, and perhaps not the strongest of scripts, uh, which is a shame because it had everything to be a really good film, and it was fun like it was flawed it was but it was fun some of the sequences didn't quite make sense um I'm gonna, I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just i'm gonna stick up for it slightly more than you maybe mate i'm gonna say <laughs> i think maybe the director was much better than we give him credit for child oh, actors okay. child actors right we know we've worked with child actors both good okay and not so good i felt during that film that at no point was I really pulled out by the kid actors. I think all of the kid actors actually did a really good job. And I, you know, I've, I've got to give some credit to the director. It's not just about an actor and their own performance. It's what the director can do with that. At no yeah. point was I kind of like, no, I'm not buying that. I think, I think they did a good job. I think with the exception of John Michael Vincent, who had his own stuff going on, character wise so tonally yeah some of it's a, a bit yeah i think that's what i'm having a go at is sure. just he, 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 yeah i think a better director could have you know, had a, had a more of a accomplished the, yeah. film yeah okay. no, I, I think you're right with the child actors i think they were really good actually i i you know i, I kind of dug that um it was it was like a 90s monster squad almost wasn't it it was kind of like oh, nice. yeah you could tell you could tell he kind of really focused on 
the kids and I reckon, you know, so that's probably why it probably worked out the best and, and rightly so, because it is mainly about those kids kind of yeah. and, and the ice cream man. But uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. The music was a bit, uh, <laughs> a bit iffy. It kind of worked in ways. It felt a bit, it felt a bit out of place at times. It yeah. kind of took me out almost um, some, some of the score, but I can, I, I understand what they were trying to do and those kind of sounds and, and, and 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 whatever else but um i i, I was... agree with you me i think i but i also think it's flawed <laughs> uh part of the reason that we're talking about it today so i think there's a much better film to be made from the idea of an ice cream man that that kills sure. yeah. i i would be with you i think an ice cream man that kills kids and everything like that i mean that that's to be honest mate hey let's let's develop that movie that that sounds like something yeah yeah, yeah i i think uh, yeah i think if it was that definitely but I think it's weirdness, it's oddness, the, the <coughs> conscious choices that it made has mm. made it this cult film that we're still talking about today. Um, and I think that would be the reason that, you know, it should be picked up by a Blu-ray label in the UK. Now, I think it is out in the States on Blu-ray by, I want to say Vinegar Syndrome. It didn't drag. It, it was, what, about an hour and a half? Just under? Not- so... Fantastic, yeah, you know. it wasn't. Yeah, no, they they kept it short. Yeah, no, definitely, it was it was a lot of fun. There's some good gore. So I, I I I really liked um what bit was quite a bit uh, unsettling. I've not really seen it. You may know what I'm going to say is the the seven head puppets. Yeah. I love that a little bit. That was I, that was really I, quite disturbing, actually. Yeah, the David Norton head in the cone. Yeah, really, because it looked like him. I mean, how many times have we seen yeah. sort of heads in movies which look nothing like nothing like him? Yeah, that looked yeah. like him. It was a no, great it visual was great. gag. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. Really creepy. Um, yeah. And again, marry that with Clint Howard's performance. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 No, I there's mean, some really they, good moments here. Good fun. One hundred percent to that film, uh, Mr. Yeah. Howard. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and they did a good job because they did try to get uh, a sequel, didn't they? Crowdfund for a sequel. I heard about um, that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sunday, bloody Sunday, spelt as like a Sunday dessert, which is brilliant. Uh, but they couldn't quite get the money for it. So, um, Never mind. yeah, maybe it deserves a sequel. Maybe if we get this uh, film That's looked at and loved. How it's still working. So, I mean, I'm not sure how he'd survive at the end, but uh, there we go. Yeah, he got, yeah, a bit mixed up, didn't he? A bit mixed yeah. up, nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do that, Jim. Okay, mate. So, who shall we approach to put this bad boy out? Oh God! I can't. Um, Shell Factory. I, are they American or US? I uh, believe, American or UK? I believe they're only American. I might have that wrong, but I believe they're okay. in the US. So yeah, I, I'm fairly sure this has been out in America. So we've got to specify. Uh, okay, this yeah, because I did say because they got a lot of good '90s stuff on yeah. there, but. Um, so yeah, I, I I mean, eighty-eight films. I know they're uh, the the obvious ones, but I think they will cater for yeah. this kind of 90s. Um, almost niche kind of um, horror film. So yeah, I, Arrow. I've um, Arrow possibly. Yeah, I think Arrow could could accommodate the usual two, the big guns. The big guns. Um, yeah, I I definitely agree with Arrow. Um, I'd also throw Eureka into the mix as well. Um, again, they've put out some '90s horror, and they've, they've mm. shown it their good love. They're great with the restorations as well. Yeah, um, yeah. And I'd love, I'd love a you know a long interview with Clint Howard because he he's kind of like Nick Cage. He fully puts in, you know, when he accepts a, a role, no matter how weird the film is. And I've got a, yeah. a movie in my recommendations. He fully commits so yeah he's got a great face for film hasn't he? he's got a very great distinct great look, voice yeah. in this movie as well really yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Stuff, fantastic yeah. okay mate good so fun. people have dug this film they <clears throat> want their follow-up movie you know they've still got a bit of popcorn or what's the second film in this double bill <sighs> right um a, a more dessert centric horror Ooh. you could go with uh the stuff um yes. Yes. yeah i love it uh go for the stuff if you like some more 90s kids battling with evil perhaps maybe watch tim curry um in it Ooh. um give that Ooh, give, give that a whirl yeah, yeah, yeah. uh monster squad again it's, it's a usual one when you see a group of kids battling evil so um and pra- and another one this is a 
a film, a horror film, not 90s though, very late 80s, that didn't quite take off as a franchise as, as the next Freddy or Michael or whatever, which I think Ice Cream Man could have been. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's Shocker. So, Shocker, yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. Cool, there we cool. go. There's a few. I'm also, I'm so glad you said stuff because when you said pudding themed, I was just like, oh man, we've we doubled up. I've gone with Ginger Dead Man. <laughs> <laughs> yes Gary Goosey Ginger Dead Man so yeah nice, Ginger nice, Dead Man yeah. that's where I've gone uh, yeah. and then my other recommendation is Clint Howard peak Clint Howard Evil Speak I think uh, oh yeah oh movie. god yes yeah uh, fantastic yeah. role for him yeah. again much earlier in his career I think early mm. 80s isn't it uh, but yeah definitely recommend that one Awesome. Cool. Okay, guys. Cheers for that. Thank you, Jim. Always a pleasure to to rewatch the, you know a film from my my youth and and rewatch again and go wow. Okay, that's you're welcome. Madder than I, so much must have gone over my head when I watched that originally. I tell you. Very eerie Indiana as well, wasn't it? Mm, you nice, get it? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. yeah. Right. Cool. Cool. So, what do you guys think? Have you guys seen Ice Cream Man? Have you got the uh, States Blu-ray? If you do, let us know what the extras are like as mm. well, as that might be something that our UK counterparts want to kind of, you know, port on over to their own release. Uh, what yeah. other films would you recommend that we dug uh, if we liked Ice Cream Man? And what other films just randomly do you think, you know, we should check out and we should pass the Blu-ray labels about? And James, what else could they do? Well, if you like this video, then please hit that like button. Uh, If you've been enjoying the Mad Science content, then why not? Subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook. Uh, If you have any comments or suggestions, leave those down below in the section, comment section, fuck that up. If you have any comments, I'll start again. Just go for it, mate. So if you have any comments or suggestions, which from the beginning? Nah, just you got this. It's fine. Do it. (laughs) So if you have any comments then also suggestions, then leave those in the comment section down below. Thank you and goodbye. Bye bye. We should play the Airwolf theme with it.